Is she dead? Yes, Lieutenant. Then cut down her body and dispose of it. I need out of this. Get up, you monster! I reach him as he starts for the exit. I smash his head against the... He moves no more than with blood in my hands. I pick Esmeralda. She knows who stopped me. He is st standing with his back to me. He turns around slowly. I lay the body on the ground before him like he sacrificed her. You have brought her here. What will you do with a body up here? I came where I thought you'd be. How is our church? Broken. Yes. It was you! All of it! I am your father, Quasimodo. Whatever you think I'm... Whatever I have done, I... Could I throw you from this roof! Yes, you could. I could! What kind of man threatens his own father? The one that you made! No, no, I made a good man. Whatever else, I made you good. I lift him and pin him against the parapet. He can feel air. Air of outside on skin. His skin. Air of world that is so far below. Uh, no, no. You need me, Quasimodo. You can't do this, this to me. This is good. I am good. I took you in when no one else would. Now put me down. Put me down right now. You see Paris? All of Paris. Thou shalt not kill. You broke that first. Why? Why were you weak? I don't know. I wish I hadn't been, but of course in motor. I lift him over the side of the cathedral. I have wet my robes. I do not care. I do love you. No. You are my son. No. Yes. I'm not saying this to save my life. You are mine. I didn't expect to love you, but I do. I made you my son. into sin. Please don't. He reaches up hand, taking it from Tom where he had clinged to, knowing he is in my power now. He touches my face softly. And the father touches the face of his son. He says nothing. His grey eyes. I let him go. He is. And he is gone. I sit with her 
her body f- for a day, a night, another day, then in darkness I carry her th- through Paris, I carry No one sees me, and I dig, lay her into a grave, beside a tree. No one sees. And then I now I am here, and it is me, and it is you, and I'm tired now, and you are dead. <laughs> And Paris is so quiet. And I have left the walls of my home. Because it's not my home. I will make here my home. Here with you. I am 22 years old. I have lived no life. All the life I had was with you. So, I will sleep now. Beside you. Over you. You will not come harm me longer. You will not. Because I won't leave you again. However much you ask me. They're digging up the graveyard. There's nothing sacred anymore. There's nothing sacred? Ten years ago, we saw ruffians kick down the door of Notre Dame. Nothing is sacred. Ten years? Has it been ten years? Mm. Well, I need to put plague victims somewhere. If that means digging up graveyards, move aside few bones. If it's for greater good. Oh, look. Hmm? There. What? But they've stopped. Hey, a man. He's crying. Well, what can you see? My eyes are not what they used to be. Hey, and they never were much. Two skeletons? Eh? Hey? They're crying over two skeletons. <laughs> one normal, well, well, not. And the deformed skeleton is laying on top at normal. As if protecting like a... Well, like a dog in its owner. Well, protecting from what? What's the skeleton protecting the other from? Well, everything, I suppose, sister. Everything. Quasimodo was played by David Bauer, Esmeralda by Candice Nergard, Frollo, Kevin Doyle, Le Duc, Roger Morlidge, George, Gary Robson and Gulom, Terence Mann. Madame Poutine was played by Susan Twist and Madame Lafayette by Rita May. The Hunchback of Notre Dame was dramatised for radio by Jack Thorne and developed in association with Grey Eye Theatre Company and directed in Manchester by Susan Roberts.